powder. Hey, don't move back. I got the tripod over here. Okay. That makes for easy trench digging. Always thinking, huh, Joe? Looking ahead. Okay, TV is coming off to go to the tripod. There it is. Don't step on it. I won't. Let me get this out of your way first, Jim. Yeah. But look at that little flash ball. Just running around. Yeah, I'm gonna do my fan now. by Joe, it's about uh, a meter in diameter, and then there's a smaller crater right in the center of it, and that one has fragments around it uh, that have, uh, have glass exposed on them, where the, uh, the larger crater does not have any glass exposed, just a smaller crater within the large one. Roger, Jim, copy. And careful with the sun, Dave. turn this thing back and uh, point it at you, at 12 o'clock it's going to be looking right into the sun, so you better think about that. Matter of fact, I think uh, a little discretion here might put it over about uh, 10, 30, or 11. Roger, Dave, that sounds good. <laughs> I tell you, looking even that way, the sun angle, whoop, by, uh, by golly, it's... Uh, Pretty bright. Joe, I'm going to uh, swing the camera around towards the ground. And now it's pointing back at the limb, but down. I want you to take a look as I move it up slowly. Make sure that we're okay on uh, what you see, okay? Uh, Dave, uh, we read all of that. Uh, we are getting a beautiful picture now. We're going to try to wind up with the tripod in the shade, if that's possible, looking back towards the lamp. Yeah, that's, that's possible. We'll do that. 